Oh no. Hello lovely people. Oh my hand is shaky. Don't worry, I'm not going to be here very long so it won't matter. Ignore how dreadful my hair looks and the fact that Windows keeps beeping. I think it stopped now. Oh no, there it goes. <laughs> so I just unplugged the memory card to put it into this camera. I'm about to go away to Italy, which is very exciting. I wanted to have a kind of catch up. I had a, a book themed video that I wanted to record. And I had this realisation, this unrelated realisation the other day, that I'm an adult in charge of my own destiny, and I could make a pillow fort if I wanted to. Let's build a pillow fort! And, oh my god, I could build a pillow... <laughs> and I thought, what better place to do, like, a book-themed video and have a little catch-up, cosy catch-up, than inside an adorable pillow fort. So that's what I'm going to do, and we'll catch up inside the pillow fort once I've made it. All right, you might recognize this room if you saw my short film. It is more echoey in here than the rest of the house, so I apologize. But this is the dining room, which I think is the prime location for a little pillow fort. Initially, I thought living room is where the sofa is, it's where the TV is, but it's also the main room that we live in. Whereas this is honestly more often the laundry room than anything else. And it has a, if I swing you over here, it has what used to be my bed full time. You, if you were watching when I was doing vloggy stuff on my main channel back in the day before anybody watched it really so you probably won't have seen it but I used to uh, I used to have this in my little studio flat and it's like a pull out double bed but I've just left it as like a day bed that kind of functions as a sofa and then people can stay here and they stay on the bed. You understand the basics of being a person. So this is my location so first thing I'm thinking well, this room has a lot of guff in it, first of all, so apologies for the guff. Uh, but it's got a lot of fun stuff as well. It's got some lights on the window that are not turned on, but I've left them up from Christmas. I think I may repurpose those for inside a pillow fort. It's also, because this is usually the laundry room, it's got a couple of clothes horses that I think might be really handy. And because this is the sort of guest room, spare room, I've got lots of blankets and covers and duvets and whatever, so I think I think this is a good place to start. Oh, it's gonna take up a bit of space. And you know what? The floor in here kinda needs a hoover, but Matt's working and I don't wanna get the hoover out. And then he starts a meeting with me going like in the background. So I'm just gonna put a nice soft pusheen blanket on the floor. I don't know where's gonna be best for you to look. Probably like over here, sort of pointing down. Cushions, need cushions. Do I just do the same thing and put a clothes horse on the other side as well with a blanket over it? Is that cheating? Take my jumper off, I'm already getting hot from just throwing sheets around. <laughs> Maybe not. I need something to weigh this side down, I think. Okay, this is fine. Ballast. Okay, I think structurally this is coming together. Here, you come off here. So obviously it's a little bit messy from the outside. Uh, but inside, we've got a nice soft little blanket world. We've got our cushion friends. <sighs> I'm so hot and sweaty. I kind of like this. I think it's kind of nice. I kind of want a bit more uh, at the back, I think, trailing down because it's a bit, it's a bit mank, you know? If we're being honest, it's a bit mank. And then we need to decorate. Oh my God, structural disaster. Whoa. ow. <laughs> Oh, it's all gone so very wrong. Like a tall pillar in the middle, you know? You know, like some sort of pillar to kind of keep the... Although I can sit up straight in here without knocking my head, so maybe it's fine. Well, I snuck around from another angle. Okay, I think if we can deal with it being a little structurally unsound. This is kind of... This is kind of everything you need. I'm just going to rest here for a second. <laughs> and then I'll try and put in some lights, which is probably not gonna go very well at all. It's 
of cute. It's pretty cute. Kind of, it's kind of like not quite enough. If I wanted to read in here, it'd be a little bit too dark. So I might bring a lamp down. That's a little better. I could read in here if I wanted to. Got my little light now. I need snacks. Yeah, I actually changed because I was getting too hot. And now hopefully I'm protected from getting too cold by the lovely little den. Ah, so I got my light for reading. Let's just take you on a little tour, shall I? It's probably going to be a pretty quick tour. Uh, I got my, my snacks. Oh, I was going to bring down banana chips. Oh, well, I, I can live without them for now. So I got my comfy floor. I got my little snack corner. Cherry cola, which I'm definitely going to spill over here. I got my little light for reading. There's Angry Foggo. Here's my <laughs> pile of books for my next video, which I'll explain more in a sec. I got my cute lights, I got my machine cushions, PO box mail. I'm officially in and cozy. I think it's cute. You can't see a lot of it, but you're just like, gonna have to trust me. I'll turn this off for the moment. So actually that lamp is generating quite a lot of heat, <laughs> which is great for if it gets cold again. I opened the window upstairs so my aloe plant could get some air because they like a fresh breeze and uh, just immediately started sneezing. <laughs> I can't go outside in the spring. It's bad. Yeah, so the reason I have this big stack of mystery books, there's seven, it's not like, it's not as many as it kind of feels, um, is because my favorite book subscription service, the mystery book series, the mystery book subscription, uh, How Novel, has closed down, and I am so sad. It genuinely changed how I read it kind of made me less snobby about certain genres where, that I had, you know, preconceptions about it. Maybe less precious about the genres that I like. I do really hyper focus, so like, I'll spend a whole year reading nothing but non-fiction. Um, I won't be interested in fiction at all, and then I'll be only interested in a very specific type of hard sci-fi. Um, and it pushed me out of those genres, and I found some books that I really loved. So I'm going to talk about it next video. They had a sale where they were selling off loads of their old stock, so I got my last unwrapped mystery book, and then I bought six more, because they were selling them for £2.50. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe, and keep an eye out, because that will be coming soon, because I'll be filming it in a minute. <laughs> now then, this one, we're opening this in this video, because this is a bedding set bear, and I think it's going to be, it's going to work as, like, the final piece of the, uh, of the pillow fort so i'm really excited uh i just i just found this online the other day and was like my god i have to have one so here we go <laughs> oh i bought some clothes as well <laughs> oh, my god. oh my Gosh, is that not the cutest little face? I'll show you the outfits, but while we're looking at the outfits, uh, start thinking up names for my, my new little friend who's gonna live in the, the fort with me. Oh, I'm a really nice temperature now. This is perfect. I wonder if a, um, a one of these would keep you cool in the summer. So I know it keeps you a little bit warmer in the winter, or at the moment it's summer one day and winter the next so if it does both that would be really useful is what I'm saying um okay let's come with this adorable little note hello my name is oh I don't have a name yet I think you would like to help me with one because I was born for you and will always be with you I will comfort you when you are sad I will be with you when you're happy and I will be with you for the years to come I would be happier if you could always keep me together by your side so we could explore the world together even though you are a strong and brave little buddy. Oh my God, did I write this? <laughs> this is so me. Even though you are a strong and brave little buddy, I still wish you could cuddle me more often. Hug me now. <laughs> a little bit demanding. I love you, my best friend, your little bear. Oh my God, that is the cutest. Okay, little buddy. Oh, we'll help you think of a name, won't we? Please get thinking. Do you want to come to Italy? Think up the cutest names you can. Gender neutral names, ideal. But I'm not that fussy. <laughs> Neither are you, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. So they do these little outfits that come in kind of three pieces. So we've got a ducky dress, which I could, I mean, I can't, it's me. Little duck is my thing. That's my whole thing. I couldn't not get the ducky dress. And then it comes with a little cute bow. 
and a little yellow rag, a little yellow handbag. I'm gonna have to get this video edited and out really soon because uh, otherwise we'll have to delay on, you know, names. Okay, we got cute little green trousers, adorable little matching shirt with mm, one of the Sanrio characters whose name I always forget. I, I know the, the main ones. I love Bats Mario. Bats Mario is my favorite. Yeah, well, if we just go on, on a Sanrio tangent, obviously I love Hello Kitty. Um, little Star Twins are really cute. Uh, cinema Roll, everybody loves Cinema Roll. They had a really cute Cinema Roll outfit that had like an ear hat, but I opted for this outfit instead because it comes with this ducky hat. And it kind of looks like my ducky hat. We could be like ducky hat twins. I've got a ducky hat just like this. I'm like, cra I'm like cradly, like a baby. <laughs> I'm 27 years old. Let this be a lesson. You're never too old for a pillow fort. You're never too old for an adorable bear. Adorable little plaid dress. Magnifying glass. This, I want to say this is a little hat. Little cape. Plastic out of here. And then two little booties for Sherlock Holmes Mondays. I just finished the new Sherlock Holmes actually on stream this week, which was super exciting, but I'm kind of sad because <laughs> now I'm like, I need them to make a new game, please. Season, thank you. Oh my gosh, this. So this uh, is what I saw in the advert that made me buy this bear. You know what? Advertising, a lot of the time it gets me and it works on me. It's like a little apple outfit with a little apple hat and then a strap so you can basically wear your bear like a handbag to take it for adventures. How good is that? I'll show you that first because I think that's pretty amazing. This is one of the reasons I bought this. Um, that and the uh, articulated limbs are really nice. I really like a uh, a bear or a doll or something that's got those nice articulated limbs. Like they're really, really soft, but they have firm articulation. Like their limbs of, you wouldn't accidentally like bend it or something, you know, if you're giving this to a baby or something. Or if you are the baby, like me. Um, I really like that. I like that a lot. Very poseable. <laughs> this is so great. Here you go, right, get your arm in there. Good job. It's like dressing your kid up for like World Book Day or, you know, the Harvest Festival. <laughs> They've got like pins to attach a lot of the hair clips and stuff. I don't really know. I don't know if I want to bear with. <laughs> you love it. Now we can go around town together. It's okay. It's completely, I put one hook in and then took it out and it's completely, I can't see anything. <laughs> it's made to have those. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. So if I'm uh, out and about, say, in Italy, okay, this is not the best example because I'm in a, uh, I'm in a tiny friggin' I've built a little shelter, but you can see how it would work if I were able to stand at full height. I am wearing, I'm wearing shorts. It look, they've just ridden up a bit and my top is long, so it looks like I'm not, I am, I'm, oh God. So sort of falling apart. I just didn't want to think anyone to think that I was in the nude in some sort of weird way, like just not wearing any bottoms. I don't know. But there you go. So there's um magical bag outfit, which I love so much. It'd be quite easy. You could attach little all you'd have to do is attach little sort of material uh kind of hooks onto whatever you wanted, and then you could have <laughs> whatever you want outfit of theirs could be a bag. This is the mature adult content that people come to my channel for. We're taking super, super cheap flights to Italy. Oh, well, this is a good opportunity to tell you about that. Um, yeah, we're going to Italy. We're taking, as I say, super, super cheap flights, um, which is fine. Uh, we chose to fly direct as opposed to, the much cheaper option is to, uh, so we're going to Naples, the cheaper option is to go to Rome and uh, just get the train from there. But we decided that because we're not there for very long to kind of mitigate stress and stuff we'll just get the flight directly so we've got super super cheap flights so i don't know how much luggage space i'll be able to dedicate to um <laughs> to my little buddy here so this is super exciting i mean it's exciting anyway because going somewhere i've never been um but i've never really truth be told i've never really done a, a holiday you know like a holiday holiday i've been to some different places around the uk I've been to Scotland a couple of times, not for a very long time. I would really like to go back. I did one, I mean, I've done a couple of, again, not for a long time, but I did a couple of little day hops over to France because it's just, just over pond. Let's put your detective outfit on, if I can work out how it works. 
Oh no, I've already put, oh what am I talking about? I've already put the trousers for this outfit on. Oh, I'm such a dingus, I'm so sorry. Special little body, I can't believe it said that, that's so cute. That's so me, it's really weird. That's exactly how I talk about things and people. Um, <laughs> it's like they knew. So cute. You put your, let me put your hat on. Oh, oh my God. Let me do up the bottom. Oh my god, this is so perfect. This is so special. This is really, like, I should get, uh, maybe in a minute, I will get my duck hat down because we could be twins. <laughs> so we're going to Naples. We're going to meet um, my buddies Willow and Sazzy, who are from America. They're popping over to uh, Europe to do a little trip. So we thought we'd uh, go along and kind of you get the chance to go on a little holiday, spend some time together, me and Matt, my boyfriend Matt, and uh, get to see our friends as well. Because they came and stayed here with us when they were in uh, London a little while ago, and it was lovely, but of course it was, you know, brief, and they're so far away that any opportunity we can see them is worth taking. Oh, that's right, I was saying, I keep getting distracted by um, dressing up my teddy bear. I've never really done a whole... I did one trip to um, Portugal with some college friends when I was in sixth form, and love those friends, they're amazing. Uh, we didn't know what we were doing because we were like, I guess we were 18, I think 18 at that point. Um, and we, it was our first, you know, booking our first holiday, whatever. If anybody else had been on holiday, it was like with their parents or whatever. So we went to Portugal, we went to a very, um, we went to Albufeira, Albufeira? I might be getting that wrong. Um, we went to a very English touristy place. A magnifying glass for looking at clues. And we went to a very English touristy place. Everyone there spoke English. It was all just stuff for boring English people to come and do on holiday, you know. Um, and it was winter. It was like February, I think. So there was no one there. There were like two elderly couples and us. And I had the flu. In hindsight, knowing what I know now, I would never ever now take the plane uh, while having the flu, because I know that that is a very, very bad idea. Uh, it can, you can go permanently deaf from flying with the flu if you've got uh, ear problems. I, th I, I feel like this is meant to go like this, this hat, but I just can't quite work it out. I'll have to look at a picture later, but in the meantime, Oh, tiny detective buddy. So I had the flu and I just, it was our first ever holiday. Well, it was my first ever holiday. It was like a girl's trip with my friends and I just didn't want to let anybody down. So I just went, oh, I forgot your shoes. Let me put on the shoes so we get the full outfit. So I just went and I, the flight obviously just destroyed my ears worse than they already were. They, they were in so much pain for days of this like week, if that long trip. So I spent a lot of time just in the flat that we were staying in. Uh, we went out for dinner once and the person running it got me a blanket because I was like shivering. <laughs> there you go. The booties actually add a lot to this look. I love that. That is so cute. I'll work out the hat. I think it's a hat. I'll work out the hat eventually. So basically it was a disaster and I was just starting to get better by the end of the trip. And my friend, my friend Danny, poor Danny, who is like still, a uh, really amazing friend of mine, one of my best friends. Known her for a long, long time now. Um, she's always been so sweet to me. And at the time I was ill, she was basically looking after me. Like when we stayed in the hotel the night before we took the flight, she like ran me a bath and she was just so sweet. She was also, um, she shared a room with me more often. I, th I think I remember everybody trading because I was snoring. And when I'm like ill or coldly, I do like a sort of, throaty grit to do like a grunt I think is quite normal but I would wake myself up doing like a I, I like honk is how I describe it so I was like snorry and honky and sweaty and just gross and awful um but she was like mostly with me and anyway yeah so by the time I just started to get better at the end of the trip she got the flu <laughs> so feel terrible shouldn't have gone I just didn't want to disappoint my friends it was like I mean it was a amazingly cheap in the scheme of things but obviously for me as a student at the time the reason we booked it so cheap was because I didn't have any money so the idea of losing the money that we spent on it as well that was my only sort of holiday holiday experience uh which is kind of 
a little sad and uh, it's one of those things where you know I mean I grew up in quite a nice area I grew up in a, a little part of Dorset which is quite a privileged little zone um I'll just take a break now to show off this ducky outfit <gasps> the little bag oh my gosh you are the cutest you are the cutest so that was my only like holiday and it was such a disaster that I don't think the couple of times I went out I was just coughing and feeling awful and just my ears were in agony and just whatever so I'm I'm really excited and I'm really ner like part of me is so nervous that I'm just gonna because I guess in my head I'm like I ruined that holiday even though it was kind of we shouldn't have gone to that place at that time of year it was you know silly in hindsight but I, I still I kind of feel like I ruined it because <laughs> I mean I kind of did and I made my friend sick <laughs> like everybody had to put up with me like snoring awfully and stuff so I've got this in my, the back of my head I'm like am I gonna just ruin it and I've been kind of hay fevery lately and I'm like I've had like a little bit of a throat thing on and off and it's completely cleared up now and it seems like it's fine but I'm like uh, is it just gonna come back and I'm gonna get on the plane and I'm gonna really hurt my ears again and everything's gonna be terrible I'm like catastrophizing a little bit about it um <laughs> so so I'm really really excited and I'm really kind of nervous and I also get the um now whenever i go away anywhere for any sort of reason i get the nerves a little bit like the youtube nerves because if you stop uploading on on your sort of schedule and youtube is like pushing my videos at the moment for some reason i'm like oh i'm gonna kill that momentum and my channel's gonna fall apart and it's gonna be terrible and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna have so much to do it's gonna be such a rush and so i'm like really fighting to have just the positive outlook and the good vibes and we're leaving like a few days after the coronation as well the king's coronation so i'm expecting london to be crazy busy i hope the airport is okay we're gonna go insanely early but i'll bring my camera and hopefully we can see some nice sights and it will just be good to see friends and have a little bit of space and time away from the computer because i see my computer i'm like i could do some work doesn't matter wh whatever time it is i'm like it's right there. I could, I've got this to edit. I could just do that little bit of editing right now. Um, so being actually away is always a benefit to me in terms of like actually having a break, sort of forced to take a break. It's gonna be nice. I'm manifesting <laughs> that it's gonna be nice. I haven't looked at the weather. I'm too scared. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to know anything. I'm really keen to see Pompeii. I'd really like to see Pompeii. Get a, a little look at Vesuvius even from a little distance would be quite nice. There's so much like incredible history in that area at the same time I don't want to overwhelm and like pack the itinerary crazy full of stuff so to the point where it doesn't feel like a break you know as long as we get to eat some good pizza say hi to our friends get a little break it'll be really good all right before we finish up then I will open up my PO box mail there you go if you wanted to send anything it should be in the description as well of every video and on my other channel in the descriptions uh it's on the homepage of my website as well although not many people look at the website every now and then i get an email from google that's like 10 people clicked on your website wow <laughs> um but yeah so it's it's there i've had so much nice just really charming lovely letters postcards um little gifts books that people have written um stuff in my PO box I just I really like it so whenever I have mail if you've not seen much on this channel before whenever I have PO box mail I uh save it for well sometimes if it's like a package I open it to check that it's not something not safe for YouTube or you know crazy or whatever um but then I like to open them save them and open them for uh videos and just you know saying uh I never read out anything to personal i don't usually read out stuff in general this is a really cute little letter it's also typewritten which i love typewritten but signed which is very sweet i love typewriters they're so gorgeous i wish they were not so expensive <laughs> hi emma please forgive my use of a typewriter when i'm writing this letter to you i'm too cheap to buy a printer fair enough and my typewriter cost me three bucks at a thrift store oh my gosh i was just saying how expensive typewriters are clearly i'm not looking in the right places I'm writing to tell you your videos entertain me while I cook. They help me focus on the tasks at hand, and I dare say they make my food taste better. That is so sweet. Has anyone ever told you that in another life you'd make an excellent C of E vicar? Nobody's told me that directly, but I get that sort of impression. I totally get the vibes you would enjoy, even now, drinking a nice cup of builder's tea, of course. 
and say discussing soteriology in the Gospel of John, likely while playing Catan with a group of fellow vicars. Thank you for everything you do. Keep up the good work. All the best, Cole. Thank you, Cole. You know what? I get what you mean. Obviously, I wouldn't... Uh, it would have to be a very another life because uh, I'm not a believer. But I do find theology fascinating. In my school, when we did RE at... Um, like high school level, it was uh, religious philosophy and ethics that we did. And that was one of my favourite subjects. It was one of the only subjects I ever got 100% in an exam. <laughs> Spoiler alert, most of it was about Christianity. I just find it fascinating. I think biblical history is so interesting. I think that hearing different people's interpretations is so interesting. I thought that was really sweet. And I kind of agree. I hope that's not, I hope there's no, uh, I hope there aren't preachers and vicars that would be offended by that. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not a believer, me saying, oh, I think I could have a, I think I could have a good uh, Church of England uh, vicar vibe, you know, the, the scholarly chat kind of vicar. There is one more important thing that we've got to do before I go, so hang tight for a second, just before I get up and go. I'm going to show you my little bear sat down. Oh my god, you're so cute! <laughs> Oh no. Well, it's very soft in here, eh? Okay, everything collapsed for a second, but it's all right now, it's fine. How long will this structure stay vaguely intact? Not long. And you're wonky now, but that's just life, isn't it? They're not exactly identical, but they're pretty close. <laughs> I told you we're like twins. Basically twins. I know I promised you a story time about this horrendous girl I worked with on a film set recently. I kind of want something to do while I'm doing story time and uh, honestly it's been a little bit up and down in terms of the like the time I've had recently. I've had like amazing days, amazing moments interspersed with like utter shit. <laughs> so uh, I don't really, I just don't think it's a useful time for me to talk about something a little bit horrid. I've definitely calmed down and, and processed this ghastly human being and this conversation enough to talk about it, but I kind of want to be doing something while I am discussing it, so I'll kind of save it for when I'm in the mood and I'll do some cross-stitch or something while I tell you the story. Yeah, I, um, I got to see Savvy the other day. We went to the Sky Garden, if you watched that video. If you haven't, you should check it out. It's really short, but you can see me and Savvy and Savvy's mum having a grand old time in London together. It's very cute. And this morning, which is going to date the video if anyone cares to look, um, this morning I recorded with uh, The Sunday Roast, which is a YouTube show that's on every Sunday, um, talking about British politics, which is obviously kind of niche for a lot of people to watch my stuff, but uh, it was a lot of fun. They're really, really cool people. And then as soon as I got done from that, my new plush had arrived, which will get its own video as soon as uh, I have details. At the moment we have a mailing list. So I'll put that down in the description if it's not already. It might already be there in all the descriptions, but if it's not already there then I'll add it. Um, so you can sign up to the mailing list for notifications. It's so cute, soft plushy. I can't believe that I designed, well with the help of like actual artists obviously, um, but I helped put a, a plushy into the world. I love plushies and toys and teddies and stuff so much as you obviously no um so i'm super excited about that and as soon as we have like a page go live for the pre-orders and stuff i will get all that information out there but i recommend signing up for email notifications just so you have them you know why not because they will be uh an exclusive run which is also kind of exciting i believe i'm allowed to do that kind of stuff in my life it's amazing <laughs> I'm doing a non-profits next week with Phoebe, which is going to be really cool. And some of the other British ACA gang uh, who are really lovely people. So that's very exciting. Can't wait for that. So it's been like amazing stuff sort of interspersed with just stressful, like poopy family news and this horrible woman at work on, you know, an already sort of stressful thing for a little socially awkward, anxious person. Uh, and I'm like half excited, half afraid about going away on holiday <laughs> so I'm just like a little bit all over the place but uh I'm feeling pretty good in general I feel like uh things are in a good way I feel good about the work I'm doing I got uh, this week's video I'm so excited about it's a um a proper movie review which I've not done for a little while I enjoy doing those so so much they're a lot of work they're really they're a massive editing job as well as you know 
really slowly watching a movie uh, once or twice, writing all these notes. It takes like a day to watch it and write all the notes. Actually filming it and then editing it. Uh, it's a lot, but um, I really, really, I'm so happy with it. I think it's really funny and fun, uh, even though the movie was absolutely awful. That kind of makes the, the worse the movie is, the kind of, the more fun the review is. <laughs> so I hope people enjoy that. And yeah, I, I feel good about the stuff I'm doing. There will probably be like a, a little quiet period on my main channel while I pootle off on holiday. I'm hoping that doesn't backfire in some sort of YouTube way, but I'm only away for a like a week so i'm sure it'll be fine i just need to try and chill out about it so thank you for watching thank you again cole for your letter it was really really lovely please do share your name ideas for my new little buddy down in the comments this absolute cutie deserves the best name do subscribe don't miss out on my upcoming how novel video which i'm literally about to record so it's coming soon <laughs> stick around for my story time and hopefully some nice footage of italy look i love a travel vlog i'm very excited to go away and take my camera with me honestly <laughs> have yourselves a very lovely week and i will see you really soon we will see you really soon